most of the times uh, we came across uh, problems where we need to factor quadratic uh, polynomials. So let's see how we can factor quadratic polynomial uh, fast. So uh, let's look at this problem. So how about uh, we're going to factor x squared uh, minus x minus 12. So if you get a problem like that, what we're going to do, we're going to look at the constant terms. In this case, uh, the most important one is the, uh, the coefficient in front of x squared is 1. So if the coefficient, of in front, uh, coefficient in front of x squared is 1, what we're going to do, we just look at the uh, constant term. So that means it's negative 12. What we're going to do, we're going to think of two factors that's going to add up to the middle term. So we're going to think of two factors that's going to add up to uh, uh, the coefficient of the middle term. That means negative 1. So you can see that if you think of factors of negative 12, so there are a lot of factors. Like for example, um, so we normally put the uh, negative sign for the larger one. So it is negative 12 and 1. And that's going to add up to negative 11. So that's not a good choice. And then you can see the next one is negative 6 times 2. That's going to add up to negative 4. And you can see that negative 4 and 3, actually that's going to add up to negative 1. So that is the right choice. Um, so what we can do, after we know that that's the right choice, and you can see that those two are the answers, like that. what, what, what does that mean? You can see this simply going to be x minus 4, that's the first one, and the other one is x plus 3. So that's how quickly you can factor a quadratic polynomial. You just need to know what factors add up to the middle term, the coefficient of the middle term. So let's look at another problem. So how about this one, little complicated one. Let's think of the factorization of 4x squared plus 5x minus 6. So as before, we do the same thing. We're going to multiply uh, these two numbers. So when you multiply those two numbers, you're going to get negative 24. So what we're going to do now, we're going to think of factors of negative 24 that's going to add up to the coefficient of the uh, middle term. So that means we're going to think of two numbers, two factors of negative 24 that's going to add up to positive 5. See, since it is positive, the larger one carries the positive sign. So that means you can think of the two factors of negative 24 as 8 and negative 3. You can see that 8 and negative 3, when you multiply, you get negative 24. When you add, you get positive 5. So that means those are the right numbers. Now the question is, we know that when you have a leading term, which is not 1, you can have multiple options. For example, uh, this can be 2x and a number and 2x and a number. And then we also have uh, 4x and a number and x and a number. So what are those numbers uh, we write here? So you can th see that these numbers are the uh, factors of the leading term. So if you look at the leading coefficient, which is 4, the factors of 4 are 2 times 2. So that's going to give the first option. The other one is 4 times 1. So those are the two options that we have. Now, how do you know which one works? So to do that, what we can do, we can test those two numbers we have here. So for example, you can see, uh, we check whether uh, these two numbers are going to divide the factorization. That means we're going to divide 8 over 2 and a negative 3 over 2. And you can see that uh, the, uh, the 2 doesn't evenly divide, the neg uh, divide negative 3. So it doesn't. So that means this is not an option. So let's look at the next one. So next one is 8 divided by 4 and the leading coefficient here is 1 and then you can see which is um, negative 3 divided by uh, 1 and you can see that both works that means those two are the numbers that goes there so that means what does that mean so the number goes there is uh, 8 divided by 4 that means 2 plus 2 and the number goes to the other one so the number goes to the other one is negative 3 divided by 1. So this is a uh, negative 3. So that is how you do the factorization. So let's do uh, some practice problems now.